because the outside world rejects you. Hey, what's up, Turtle fans? Okay, so this is a pretty interesting one. I saw this one pop up uh, a few days ago, actually, and I wasn't sure what to make of it, so I thought I'd let it sit for a little while and let it figure itself out pretty much. And you may have seen this one already as well, too. But as you can see here, uh, there were some sites reporting about a Netflix pitch for Ninja Turtles with a more, uh, you know, realistic PG-13 type of take on it and i just wanted to go ahead and explain that what that was if you had happened to see it or if you might have simply just passed through it and wondered well, what the heck was that and never came back around to it so let's go to the source where this all came from as you can see it was reported on a bunch of sites but the actual source where it came from was right over here and it was posted here from Mateus Santoluco, who, as you can see in his description, is a Brazilian comic book artist and creator currently working on IDW's Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. So yeah, it's somebody that's involved with turtle stuff, but let's go ahead and see where this all started. So if you can see right here, this is the original post, TMNT Shinobi Chronicles. And it says, back in 2016, I started fooling around with this idea. What would be my concept for a PG-13 TMNT series for Netflix. So this is four years ago, but this artist was playing around with the idea that I feel like a lot of Turtles fans also fantasize about. It's about a PG-13, a little bit more serious take on the Turtles. But let's go actually inside of the post and take a look at the thread because he continues. And the part I want to go to first before we go any deeper into the video, I feel like it's important just to kind of go through, go through this part first. And that's way down here, uh, right over here. So he says, before, we'll get back to some of the fun stuff and look at the art, but I, I just want to read this part first. It says, I need to clarify two things. People got it all wrong. I designed these as a personal imagination exercise, thinking what would be my approach if I was ever to create a concept for a Netflix show. This was never submitted, neither was I ever commissioned by Netflix. And then it goes on even further where it says the comic book pitch was never officially submitted to IDW. So it looks like he was gonna also turn it into a comic book at some point, which we'll get into in a minute. He says, I did present it in an informal, casual conversation to my editor. The reason it never became a real thing is my fault alone for never pursuing it. IDW never turned it down since it was never offered to them. So pretty much this is just an idea he had and he just wanted to share with everybody, which I think, which I still think is pretty cool when you see this kind of stuff. But yeah, I just wanted to go ahead and go through that first before we get to some of the fun stuff, like uh, the images of the turtles and stuff. Now we can go ahead and talk about all that stuff. But yeah, I definitely thought it was important to go through that first before we go any further. So you can see right over here, here is an image of four turtles and as he describes in the caption uh, tmnt shinobi chronicles can be seen up here you can see the logo and you see the turtles in all red bandanas and even uh johnny here wears his almost like a ski mask and leo wears his like a scarf almost now you can tell which turtles which by their elbow pads you can see leo has blue elbow pads mikey has orange johnny purple and so on but they all are wearing red on their faces like the original turtle started out which i always thought would be cool to see at least starting off now when i look at these turtles i'm kind of re reminded of the 2012 turtles a little bit i almost feel like this is what a live action version of them would have looked like which a lot of fans like the look of those so if something like this ever happened maybe it would catch on i personally am more of a fan of a more classic ninja turtles look but i do see fans that gravitate towards this style when it comes to the turtles anyways the post continues as you can see he has it here in part so part that was part one talking about what would be his concept for a pg-13 series for netflix then it continues with i did this mainly for fun at the beginning but the idea evolved into a full concept and i decided i was going to offer it as a comic book miniseries i wrote a pitch proposal created a logo and even presented part of it to my editor at idw in a casual meeting at san diego comic-con as he as we talked about earlier when he explained everything then it goes into part three right here he liked the concept but there were other plans for the turtles's book in motion at the time long story short 
I guess it's fair to say that work and life got in the way and I ended up not pursuing this project. And then it says, not sure why I haven't shared this before, but I was hoping to make something out of it. Anyway, here it is for your appreciation. Hope you all like it. P.S. The kanji Japanese writings on the logo are probably not accurate. I did the best I could with Google Translator and then end. And then you got this is all May 7th, by the way. So a few days ago, but May 10th, just a couple days ago, was when he added the last two messages, you know, talking about how this was never submitted to Netflix and how he was never commissioned by Netflix and how IDW never turned it down because he never really, you know, officially offered it to them. It was just kind of a casual conversation they had. It's what it seems like. So I hope that clears it up for you. If you had happened to see this and you didn't know what it was, just wanted to kind of go through it, break it down. There is another image here of uh, Splinter. So you can see Splinter right there. And as well, you could see just the logo and like the city. But yeah, what do you think? Would you have liked to see something like this? Are the designs up your alley? I know these ones are a little bit different than like, let's say the 1990 movie designs. I think at this point, I think people just want to see a gritty, you know, mature version of the turtles. It doesn't have to be like a hard R or anything. I don't think I just think just like a, like, like this, a PG 13 uh, version of the turtles. I think at this point, as long as it's given respect and taken seriously, fans would check it out for sure. But I still do think it's more of a sure shot. If you have a little bit more of a classic look, especially toward to the face area of the turtles. That's just my opinion. Let me know down below what you think. Something like this still could work depending on the story. If the story was just amazing, which I don't have any reason to doubt. Mateus, he was, I believe, behind the Shredder in Hell comics, which was a really good read. So yeah, maybe this could have worked. I see the reaction to the post as well. A lot of people seem to like it as well. If you go look at the post, a lot of people are definitely showing it some love. I wouldn't be mad at this one. It'd definitely be interesting to check out if it ever became a reality. But that's it for this quick video. I am working on an updates video. There's some Turtles updates uh, I need to talk about with you guys. And also uh, maybe do a quick tour of the new recording area here. If it sounds a little different, that is because I am in a new recording area and uh, hopefully I can show it to you guys pretty soon. But that's it for this one, guys. Hope you're enjoying the content here on the channel. If you're new to the channel and you want more turtles in your life, go ahead, hit that subscribe button. That's all we talk about is new, old, and upcoming turtle stuff. Hit thumbs up if you enjoyed the video. That's it for this one, guys. I'll see you in a little bit with another video. Take care.